I'm Josh, this is Colin, and this is Perseverance, our floating off-grid home. Come explore with us as we sail to new places, we learn how to protect our environment, and see how we coexist with nature. We'll also make lots of friends along the way. We got mom and dad with us on board. This is so much fun. You've got to do it sometime. Sailing with Perseverance is the best ever. I'm enjoying doing absolutely nothing but looking around. This is awesome. This is the boat you guys are going to buy, right? So we are looking for a good spot to anchor and <laughs> check out Peanut Island. <laughs> huh? Oh my god. The tender. We anchored just south of Peanut Island and all headed in on the dink, but Colin insisted on paddleboarding himself in. Take me to Peanut Island. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Colin's paddleboarding was short lived because of how windy it was. As we got to Peanut, we locked the paddleboard to the dink. You're not allowed to tie the dinghy up to foliage on this island. You might find so, a kind of park deal. officer with some humor. Maybe you'll get a note or a big ticket. Peanut Island is definitely worth a stop for anyone visiting West Palm. There used to be a bunker for JFK on this island that's currently being renovated for tours. There's a great abundance of life above and below the water to enjoy at Peanut as well. In addition to curious fish, we saw several different rays while we visited. And there's no shortage of fish around this island. They are everywhere. This is just one of the many amazing creatures we saw regularly at Peanut. I believe this is a triglity. They're commonly known as grenards or sea robins. They have six legs and two beautiful wings. It always surprised us just how much variety of life there was every time we snorkeled a peanut. Colin and I spent like 30 minutes watching this bird splash its beak in the water trying to attract fish to eat. This was really cool to see in action and the bird paid us no mind. Right next to the fishing bird, I somehow caught this shot of a gar jumping out of the water trying to catch a fish as well. Amazing. I picked up this plastic bag and a little tiny curious shrimp popped out to investigate me and the camera. We've seen cuttlefish like these ones before in the tortugas, but the close encounter Colin had with these cuttlefish was really out of this world. Encounters like the ones we had with these cuttlefish are the reason why we live this lifestyle.
This is one of the coolest encounters we've ever had with animals in the wild. After some amazing snorkeling, we headed out a bit early because we had some weather rolling in. I wanted to give special thanks to Colin's mom, Mary Pat, for doing a lot of the on-show recording during this episode. And a huge thank you to all of our patrons. It's been awesome meeting some of you, and we can't wait to meet more of you in the future. You really give us a lot of inspiration and motivation to keep making these videos. So thank you. After another beautiful sunset, we decided to throw in the fish lights and see what would show up. We ended up attracting a huge school of catfish. All right, we are going to the marina just down the lake here to pick up our explorer charts for the Bahamas. Uh, Josh ordered uh, a set of explorer charts from Blue Water Charts in Fort Lauderdale. Uh, amazing place full of all sorts of charts and boating goodies. We've visited them before. Uh, I think it's where we got our cruising logbook uh, and some other stuff. So they were gracious enough to send it uh, with an order that they already had coming up here to West Palm. And so it is at the marina waiting for us. Meanwhile, I'm struggling to fix my burl gas glasses. I think it's about time to get new glasses. After Colin's parents left, we needed to run some errands. This laundry at Curry Park was okay. So we're walking around looking for, for this coffee shop, um, but we saw this, what was it, a, re a reef? The Reef um, Institute, yeah. uh, they do like field trips for like education and then they have a bunch of like tanks and aquariums. They're closed to the public, but they do appointments apparently. Yeah, so, so there was, a, there's a cool dog face puffer and um, named, named Smiley Cyrus. Yeah, Smiley Cyrus, dog face puffer. It's a five-year-old puffer and uh, very sociable. Yeah, we walked right by the tank and he was just following us, right? Or he or she, I guess. He or she was following us along the window outside the building outside the tank, so anyway. We're gonna go find this coffee, maybe. One really cool and surprising thing about West Palm is that there are a lot of street art murals around the downtown area. Clothes are in the dryer, so enjoying coffee on a walk. It's a cute little neighborhood where there's a lot of cool little shops and I got some incense, as usual. Always and, need more incense. Yep. We're trying to just see what, what these little shops are that are around. Is that a post office right here? That is a post office. Good for general delivery. See, ah. it's a great area. We've been going to shore in the wrong spots. I uh, know, it's gotta find the right spot. <laughs> this is Skunk Wart's Brewing Concern. It's a really awesome microbrewery and it's owned by a retired UPS pilot. The whole interior is decorated with various airplane parts and you should definitely stop in if you're visiting West Palm. Successful laundry run, coffee run, and just general exploration run. 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 But yeah, we're gonna check out this anchorage over here, maybe move. So, I... The motor stopped. The motor stopped, but I, then I have this epiphany all of a sudden. We could use the government docks to possibly work on our hardtop. Because it's really long, and I don't know how wide it is, but I'm imagining it's possible, and we could be there all day, Day after day. Day after day, and just come off the dock overnight, and that would be easy. Because the um, issue is right now, there's no marinas with space until be, like January. It's about to be Christmas, so, so we're only kind of stuck to this area because we've got the hardtop being delivered here. So this, I thought we were just gonna have to waste like eight days that you that Colin has off, and we might be able to do this. So we're gonna go and, and several hundred that. dollars in just marina yes. fees and a, and, a, and a like set schedule, like yes. tighter schedule. So we didn't even care if the motor died because we we're so <laughs> excited by Josh's epiphany. So, I don't know why we and I'm holding care. hot laundry from the dryer on my lap in the middle of the Florida sun. It's hot today. It's, it's like hot 80, today. 81. It's nice on the water with the wind, but it's warm. I'm it's, sweating for the first time in months. It's time to go swimming. So, yeah. but we have this new epiphany. Hell yeah. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. It really helps our channel grow. If you enjoy our content, please consider supporting us on Patreon.